Kondak. Banyak. डॉक्टर धन्या निम्न देना रो क्वेश्चन इतना दिव्या इधर रहा डॉक्टर दिव्या हाँ मैम इधर नहीं ओके All admins, please switch on the video. Sound not better. My heart held it. Where are the other admins? Namaste, sir. Namaste, sir. Gita, you can start. Dr. Gita? Yes, ma'am. You can start. Okay, ma'am. Recording start mode poly, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. 
Shall I start? Namaste to all of you. Today, on behalf of Team Ross, I, Dr. Geeta Potur, is here to start, host this 20th webinar series on cancer discussion. I think it will be a great afternoon today to have a great speaker, Gopi Krishna sir, with us. So I thank you all for joining today's webinar and warm welcome to you all. Now, session will start with the blessings of Danvantari prayer by Dr. Divya. Over to you, Dr. Divya. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome, sir. Let's start the prayer. Shri Ganeshaya Namaha. Namami Dhanvantarim Adi Devam Sura Surair Vandita Pada Padmam Loke Jararu Bhayam Rityunasham Datara Misham Vividho Shadinam Dhanvantarim Ramanatham Sarvaruga Ayurveda Pravaktaram Vande Piyushadayakam Sarve Janaha Sukhino Bhavantu Sarve Santu Niramayaha Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makaschitu Kabhag Bhavet Om Shantihi 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 Thank you all. Thank you, Dr. Divya. Now I request Shakuntla Madam to give a brief introduction about our RAS group. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Dr. Gita. Good afternoon, everyone. Myself, Dr. Shakuntala Pati. Welcome, Dr. Gopi Krishna, sir, behalf of Ross team. Thank you so much, sir, for accepting our invitation and took your valuable time to share your knowledge with us. And I also welcome all delegates from different state of India, because I know if Gopi, uh, Gopi Krishna, sir, seminar will be there, then everyone comes. And uh, I welcome all Ross members. Thank you so much. Ross is a Rudra Arbuda Ayurvedic approach one, under one shelter. As it suggests, uh, we want to bring all the Ayurvedic cancer uh, physician under one shelter, share, your, share our knowledge to build our confidence in the field of Ayurveda. So that's why we are conducting seminars. And uh, another thing what we are doing, like uh, we are updating all cancer related research papers in our uh, Facebook page. And we are having another plan to conduct uh, Camps in the school uh, children's like uh, we want to make it uh, awareness of Dhinacharya and Rutucharya. So by this we, are, we want to create a new generation with a healthy one, not uh, uh, fall a victim of cancer and other things. And uh, by to cause this noble uh, thing, actually three teams of Ross members only, they are working behind this. And I want to thank all of them. And uh, actually I, I am having a special uh, note to delegates. Uh, so. Kindly give the uh, onco physician whoever in uh, our field uh, names to uh, me and Dr. Geeta so we can take a further step to meet them. And uh, second thing is that uh, if you, anyone wants to join the group, kindly contact us. We will share our number in the chat box. Thank you so much and welcome once again all members and uh, over to Dr. Geeta. Thank you, Geeta. Thank you, ma'am. Now, Dr. Deep, uh, Dr. Kanchana will introduce today's speaker. Over to you, Dr. Kanchana. Thank you, Dr. Geeta. Thank you, Shak Dr. Shakuntla, ma'am. Dr. Gopi Krishna M., Professor in HOD Department of Rashastra and Bhaisajya Kalpana at Sri Jagadguru Gavi Siddheshwara Ayurvedic Medical College, Koppal. Sir is a student of well known Rashastra Vaidya, Dr. Siddhinandan Mishraji, who is an awardee also. Sir has worked as a part of translations of various books from Talika, Telugu Talika to Hindi and Sanskrit. Sir is very fond of doing field service and also has visited major parts of Himalayas, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, Europe 
and recently he has covered completed Sri Salem Hills also. Sir has an expertise in Potteli, Parpati, Kupi, and Kharaliya Rashayanas. He has basic knowledge of Rashastra and also with the modern pharmaceuticals. Sir is very well known in treating many complicated ailments like cancer, autoimmune disorders, and many such more. Sir has been the co founder of Indian Institute of Ayurveda and Rashastra and e learning platform also. Sir has been an organizing secretary of Rasa Chikitsa organized by Sri Jayendra Saraswati Ayurveda Medical College, Chennai, and Srinivasa Clinic, Ballari, and also was an organizing secretary for certificate course in clinical Rashastra organized by Jag Sri Jagat Guru Gavisiddeshwara Ayurveda Medical College, Koppad. I wish everyone a very fruitful session today. Thank you, everyone. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Dr. Kanchana. Now I request Dr. Gopi Krishna, sir, to start today's session. Over to you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. So prior to I start this, I would like to acknowledge to the whole team for giving me this opportunity to share a few of my ideas here. And uh, it was really uh, delightful to speak to Shakuntala, madam and to receive her invitation on this behalf. And definitely my student is also here, Dr. Ranjit. So even I acknowledge everyone for being with us. Thank you. We can start the sessions. Okay. Yeah. So uh, the topic which has been uh, asked for me to discuss was about the malignancies and try to discuss uh, the aspects related to it. Uh, the whole team or the whole topic of uh, malignancies or cancer is a really a very, very wide chapter. So it's not possible to cover uh, the whole set of malignancies. It might take a year's time for us to complete it. Still, for today's presentation, to give a just uh, a, a sort of a glimpses or a sort of uh, highlights, uh, we'll try to see what are the basic medicines which I use for the malignancies. And I have tried to focus today specifically on the GAT malignancies, only of the gastrointestinal, not of the surrounding or other organs, because uh, considering the time slot. And accordingly, uh, what are the various treatment modalities which we use on the grounds of Rasahastra and uh, use them. And among the Rasaushadis, I extensively use lots of Puttali Kalpanas, uh, which I prepare by myself and use it in my patients. And uh, I will try to enumerate a few of those Kalpanas and also the case reports of the patients and what was the treatment given to them before treatment and after treatment with the documented data. Salutation to the God. He is an abode of knowledge and also he is a founder, the profounder of the whole science of Rasa Shastra. And he himself is also called as the Layakarta. And this disease called as cancer is one such step which takes the patient Almost by the name of the diagnosis, he, he imagines himself just outside the gate of the graveyard. So that is a scenario what has been known to us till now about this particular disease. So salutate to that personality who has profounded this sacred science to treat such dreaded illnesses and bless us for gaining the knowledge of Rasa Shastra and take them into the clinical trials. The very first step which I would like to say is, whenever you're treating the patients of cancer, please don't promise. Because it's one such disease which uh, having multiple doshas involved, multiple dhatus involved, lots of things happening there. Sometimes a patient is very mild enough clinically but in a short span of period, the disease turns are so aggressive. Sometimes the condition is such a way like the condition is so aggressive by the time they have approached us. By giving some basic medicines, the patient responds tremendously. 
many times it turns to be unpredictable frankly to speak about we really don't know why cancer develop in humans everything is only a sort of a guesswork and our own prejudice like possibly this could be the reason this could be the reason and that's the reason why we don't have the treatment for cancer it's only a sort of a understanding process to see what best we can do for a patient suffering from cancer but anyway do not promise your patients step ahead and treat them keep one thing in mind you are definitely more sacred and the knowledge of management of cancer is far 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 better than the contemporary sciences we can definitely make lots of wonders with the patients so this is what ayurveda speaks about let us try to have a glimpses i don't want to go through all the samhitas the tikas commentaries and all let us try to discuss the practical aspect what i have understood by studying these textbooks and how is that i am planning my treatment modalities with the patients and try to go with what ayurveda is adopt what rasa shastra is asked me to prescribe it and what is the time giving and how did i diagnose it what are the reports of the patient and by giving these medicines what was the reports of the patients after treatment so this is the whole index of the whole of the presentation which i am going to uh, present in front of you the very first one to speak about the chikitsa sutra of the gulma samprapti see this is one such disease which can be taken of either form don't ever take it's only gulma tentatively it is taken as gulma cancers can present in the patient in the form of atisara in the form of jwara in the form of raktapitta it can be in the form of arshas it can be in the form of shula it could be in the form of arbuda etc it's a very very wide scope of disease where it can affect or it can do lots of things from various illnesses but anyway i have just taken for uh, a sort of understanding with that of the gulma so here it is a case of uh, in case of gulma i'll be discussing about only the chikitsa sutra advised by our acharyas like charakadi acharyas and they have prescribed the chikitsa sutra of the vataja gulma as snehanam svedanam dhritapanam basti churnam brahmanam vamanam vireshanam raktamokshanam yes wonderful once it comes to the pittaja gulma there is slightly we need to think about why this is happening he asked us to give tikta grutapana tikta kshira virechana niruha raktamokshana ashwasana shamana yogas upanaha shastra karma in case if it ruptures internally you need to give shodhana and varana ropana krama so definitely yes all are based on the doshic levels but one thing the one which has been highlighted there it is specifically to be given not only in tittaja conditions it is also to be given in case of vataja conditions see tikta grutapana tikta kshira virechana why niruha basti here acharya would have taken something like anuvasana basti but niruha because he is targeting vata the main triggering thing in malignancy cases to hold with is no doubt tridoshas but among the tridoshas it is chiefly the vata so try to arrest the vata then much of the tridoshas will be totally arrested the next is about the kafaja condition even in kafaja gulma the chikitsa sutra speaks about snehana virechana sarpivasti all these are again related to vata shamana the other treatments are specific to the kafaja gulma or svedana bandana langana lekhana guti churna arishta kshara rakta mokshana daha karma etc so considering like even the acharyas considered vata as an outset even though it is either of the doshic levels for the involvement of the gulma samprapti so that's the reason why we have given lots of emphasis in treating the patients with vata hara drugs even though the patient doesn't clinically exhibit as something like uh, vata kara or something like vata vruddhi kara lakshanas but still we try to plan up by giving him with vatahara drugs or vatashamana dravyas the protocol being vyadi pratinikam primarily anulomanam and pachanam so what could be the final protocol now it should be vatashamana anulomana and pachana mukyaushadis it could be something like balataka lashuna erandatailam tamravasma shilajatu kankushta kampilaka navasadara 
Kantaloha, Loha, Naga, Vaidhurya, Shankha, etc. There are many drugs which can be used there. According to Chakradatta, he has used about the Ketaki Kshara in case of Kapavruddhi, Palasha Kshara in case of Raktagulma, and Kshara Jala in case of uh, Kshara Jala of that of the Kutaja, Arka, Shibru, Snuhi and Appamanga. So these are few of the other combination of drugs which our Acharyas have recommended. Vata Jagulma, Lashunadivati, Vata Vidvam Sarasa, Chukra Thailam is being indicated from the textbooks. For Pittaja conditions, it is Pravala Panchamruta Rasa and also Shatavari Truna Pranchamula Kwata. Kapha Jagulma, Swarnavasanta Rasa, Ballataka, Tamrakshara and Arogya Kshara are being indicated. Rakta Jagulma, Loha Parpati Mishana, Shatavari Truna Panchamula Kwata, Sannipata Jagulma, Varanadi Kwata with Kshira. And I will say, being in a clinic, like say for example, in a routine OPD practice, very, very commonly seen malignancies in our clinic is from this category, Sannipata Jagulma. The other categories are definitely there, but still by the time they would have approached us, it will be in a state of Sannipata Vasta. So on that grounds, as a universal background, we try to focus more on the Varanadi Kwata as an Anupanam to be given to these patients, whoever are suffering from malignancies. Panchakarma Upachara, <clears throat> definitely it is a very useful technique and it's a boon for the people of Ayurveda that they have been innovated with this beautiful technique of Panchakarma. But there are some limitations here, uh, especially in the malignancy patients because all the, already the patient coming to you is in a state of Durvalata, is already weakened because of the disease nature. So giving him, giving him with the classical methods of Shodhana therapies might be possible or might not be possible many times. Might be the other Upakarmas can be given other than Vamana Virichana. Might be it will be more fruitful if you can plan up with the Basti and also the local treatments, which would be very much supportive. Like you have the Virechanam with Erendataila or Virechana Kashaya can be given. Niruha Basti with Dashamula is been ideal. Anuvasana Basti with Sahaja Radhi Taila, Anulomana with Trifala Churna, Rakta Mokshana with Siraveda, Prachana or Jaloka can be given. Bhai Shamana Upachara, Snehanam and Swedanam. Patya Patya, depending on the patient's clinical presentation, try to give him with lots of Patya and Patya as per the clinical presentation. However, the disease is being manifested in the patient according to that, you plan for the Patya and Patya in the patients. <clears throat> Necessity of treating Vata with specific Chikitsa, wherein Acharya from Madhukosha has highlighted about the utility of Atibalatvat, Ashukaritvat, Garyasthvat, Vikharanam, Dusadhyatvat, Ashuevatyai Kharitvat, Vishishta Chikitsatvat. Vata is one such condition where it is having Atibala, it is very strong. Second thing is it is Ashukari, very quickly it spreads, which is commonly seen in cancers. They metastasis and they move around in all parts of the body. Garyasthvat Vikharanam. It goes deep rooted and affects the deepest organs of the body. Dusyatyatva. There are many times there dusyatya. And also Ashu Evam Atyaya Karitvat. It is, it, you need an emergency management here. And also Vishishta Chikitsatvat, where you need a specific line of management for controlling these clinical conditions like that of Rasaushadis. Importance of Rasaushadis in clinical management, wherein the textbook of Rasaratna Samucha has explained about Alpa Matra Sapoyitva, Tarucher, Aprasangatva, Kshipra Marokidayatva, Daushade Bhiri Kurasaha. And also it has been mentioned as significance of the Rasaushadis in Durbalavasta. You need to give to the patient about the Shilajatu, Shaudra, Vidanga, Serpi, Loha, Abhaya, Parada, Tapya Bakshaha, Pureet, Durbala Dehadatun, Tri Pancharatre, and Yatasha Shankaha. This is a combination almost similar to that of the Tapyadi Loha. This is a reference from Ashtanga Sangara Uttarasthana. This is an essential component in most of the cancer patients to go with the Tapyadi Loha because to ward off the Durbala state of the body in cases of malignancies. Various forms of the Rasaushadis in treating ailments. You can go with the Maritam Dehasidhyartam, Murchitam Yadinashanam, Rasavasma Kochit Yogi, Deharte Murchitam Kochit. So various forms of it can be used. So some of the formulations from the pages of Rasa Shastra, what is that you can plan up from 
the text of Rasa Shastra in the cases of malignancies and what is that we prescribe them. <clears throat> the Basma Prakara, like usually it is being explained by the textbook of Rasa Kama Denu, Arogyam Bhaskaradi Cheta, Somadhatu Samruddhi Dhatham. So administering the Bhaskara, Bhaskara is a synonym of Tamra. So whenever you want Arogya Prapti in an individual, administer Tamra Basma to the patient which ward off the Agni Mandya and adores health to an individual, even in the cases of malignancies, because anorexia or loss of appetite is a very, very common phenomenon, which is seen in most of the malignant patients. Somadhatu, which is called as a Rajata, that is a silver, wards off the Rasaraktadi Dhatu Vikaras and makes it Druda. All the metastasis happens through the bloodstreams. Rasa and the Rakta Vashotas are chief involved Dhatus in cases of malignancies. That's the reason at an outset, use the Rajata Vasma to see that you arrest these clinical conditions. To get rid of the diseases, always administer the Deva Deveshwara that is called as a Swarna. Roga Prashante Seve Deva Deveshwara Sada. So to ward off the disease like the cancers, you need to administer them the Swarna. Nageshu Nagavalado. So Yamak Yamaha Bayam Nahi. So where he speaks about to increase the Ayu prescribe Yama. Yama is Loha Basma. So in case if you want to increase the life expectancy of your patient, you need to administer him Loha Basma, which is also an essential component in patients of cancer. To gain the strength like that of an elephant, because usually what happens, cancer patients are very weak. They lose their hope physically and mentally. So you need to make them as strong as an elephant. Then you need to administer them the Naga Basma. To increase the Shukra Adidhatos, you need to give Brihideva, so where, where you can definitely have lots of benefits by administering of these aushadis or these conditions in the patients suffering from many of the clinical significance. So for all the Shukradhatu or any of the conditions, you can go with the planning of the Vanga, Vanga Vasma. So this is called as Agni Thailam. Uh, or also called as a tea thylum, which is very much useful before you start your treatments. Try to keep this in hand. This is nothing but the kupilu thylum. It, it is very much benefited for uh, pain management. It's very good for the pain management. So usually patients of malignancies will have lots of pain many times. So you need to control the pain. So you take this oil and try to apply it on the affected area so that the strength of the patient is being achieved well and the pain is being managed well. Sarveshwara Parpati is a reference from Rasaratna Samuchaya. This is Sarveshwara Parpati. This I extensively use it in my cases of malignancies, especially wherever they have false fistulas being developed or abscess-like formations or where they have uh, many of the complications, as you can see in case of ductal carcinoma of the breast or you have the fistulas which is being formed in CA of rectum. So in many of these conditions where you have a clinical presentation of these kinds, then you are supposed to use the Sarveshwara Parpati. This is Lohagarbha Pottali. Here what you can see in the center in the form of a Linga Kara is a Lohagarbha. We usually perform the Rasa Poojana like this and then it has been administered to the patient. This Lohagarbha Pottali is specifically given to the patients where they are having a tendency of spread of the disease like the metastasis or wherein the doshas are traveling in the rasa and rakta vashotas. Then we give them with loha darba so that the condition has been well arrested. This becomes an, a very, very important phenomenon or very important drug of choice to be given in case of malignancies because rasa and rakta vashotas is mandatorily involved in most of the cancer patients. So this is the textual reference of the loha darba portali. It has been prescribed as sangrahani, pandu, kamala, rakta, uh, rakta kshoba, prameha, pradhara, netra rogas. Malagarbha portal is another portal kalpana, this one, wherein we are using it especially in the disorders of the chest, where you have the lung malignancies, vata and kafaja conditions especially, and also this is an excellent choice of drug where you have added growths, like cauliflower like growth, what you can see in case of adenocarcinomas, then Malagarbha is very benefited. These are the textual references, Jwara, Shleshma Vata Vyadi, Upadamsha, Firanga, Bhagandara, Nadi Vrana, Shwasa and Agni Mandya. Amragarbha Pottali, it is specifically used in the malignancies of the female, the breast and the reproductive system, which is very, very beneficial to be administered. 
kafol bana tridosha jas shwasa kasa jwara shula vardhyaka shosha so these are the clinical conditions explained by the textbooks the rajata garbha potali it is specifically again given to the females especially in the reproductive organs and this is very specifically having an action called as a garbhashaya shodhana especially in the fibroid or the pcods where they are eventually converting to the malignancies or ca rectum ca endometrium or any of these complications where we give with rajata garbha these are the textual references vishagarbha kotali <coughs> vishagarbha is specifically to be given in the conditions where you have a spread of the disease through the blood it was acharya sushruta very specifically identified the spread of the disease from one place to another place is through the blood channels this is called as metastasis today and this particular phenomenon can be arrested by administration of vishagarbha these are the textual references tridhatu garbha especially in the malignancies of the juvenile origin and also it can be given in the conditions where you have a stubborn growths the textual reference speaks about the prameha puti meha pradara shukra dosha shukradi dhatu vardhanam shila garbha kottali similar to that of the malla garbha but this is milder compared to that jwara shwasa kasa adi conditions pravala garbha specifically given in the case in the patient where they are into um, the chemotherapies radiations or anything like uh, where you need to arrest the pitta factor in the patient arrest the bleeding tendencies in the patient then you need to dump them with high quantities of pravala garbha so that the patient will have a very good response clinically these are the textual reference of course this is ideal drug of choice which can be given in case of bala sukumara stri and also in pregnant female and also in post delivery in all these conditions pravala garbha is very ideal ratna garbha potali is a sort of a boon to the humans where in the falashruti speaks about when you are unable to treat any of the case or if you find that doshas are highly deep rooted in all those clinical conditions try to administer the ratna garbha by which it can have a successful clinical rate so this is the, the ratna garbha potali rasadi ojo vardhanam in the rajoroga it's indicated in the disease where no other medicine is working or showing response hemagarbha potali it's a bread and butter to me because i use it in almost every patient because i have appreciated the benefits of this particular potali kalpana and they are no doubt wonderful choice of drugs it is specifically even in rajakshma raktakshoba jirna jwara and also ojakshaya in all these clinical conditions you are supposed to give to the patient with that of hemagarbha let us try to understand what is a phenomenon which is happening in case of annava shrotas and why is that it is given such an important in ayurveda amashayan vama parshva or amashayan annavahi dhamanis are considered as a moolasthana as per charaka and sushruta respectively so based on this whenever you have a patient suffering from the malignancies or of the annava shrotas <coughs> you need to definitely give the drugs which can strengthen the amashaya the patient will say sir i don't have any loss of appetite i don't have any discomfort but why is that i am supposed to take amashaya valaprada set of drugs you need to increase the strength of the amashaya because it is a moolasthana of the git once the moolasthana of the git has been strengthened the whole of the shaka or the whole of the plant has been strengthened that's the reason why the moolasthana of the particular shrotas is very important for us to analyze from where we have to start with the treatments shrota drushti lakshanas ananna bilasha arochaka vipaka chardi drushtva anna vahinascha srotam se pradushthan iti vidyat tatra vidyasya atmanam shula anna dvesha chardi vipasa anya anya maranam cha andiha maranam cha so this is one such condition where it lands up into emergency status and where you need an immediate Uh, support of the vaidya chikitsa sutra is ama dosha chikitsa for the annava shrota vyadi according to charaka vimanasthana 5th chapter and based on that the set of rasaushadis which can be given in the patient suffering from ama dosha chikitsa is abraka so my presentations could be like this this is name of the drugs this is name of the textbook 
chapter number and shloka number. This is Abrakavasma, Rasaratna Samuche, second chapter, 51 shloka, in that way. Similarly, you have the Shilajatu, Gandaka, Kampilaka, Tamra. Deepana set of drugs are very essential because unless and until you are able to balance the Deepana and Pachana quality in an individual, he will never respond to your management. So here you have the list of drugs like Abraka, Haratala, Swarna, Mandura, Kamsya, Manikya, Mukta Shukti, Neelam, Vaidurya, Pairojaka, Godanti, Vishatinduka, Vatsanaba, Gandaka. Varatika, Agnijara, Tamra, Kantaloha, Vanga, Vartaloha, Pravala, Panna. Pusharaga, Vajra, Gomeda, Rajavarta, Vishatinduka. Pachana conditions like you have the Gandaga, Navasadara, Varatika, Kingula, Wanga, Pravada, Pushiraga, Gomeda, Rajavarta, and Vishatinduka. Shoto Dushti Chikitsa, patient is bound to land up into Aruchi, which could be the cause of death in the patient. So you need to prescribe them with Abraka, Makshika, and Vimala. Similarly, the Charti Hara, because we are discussing about the GAT malignancies. The patient will have lots of chardi. So for that, you need to give to the patient with that of the Kantaloha, Shotanjana, Saviranjana, Vanga, Pusharaga, Rajavarta, Gunja, Ahifena, Gairika. Shroto Vidha, Chikitsa, Abraka, Vimala, Shilajadu, Tutta, Kampilaka, Tamra, Kantaloha, Pairojaka, Dudda Pashana, Shanka, Gunja, Ahifena, Balataka. Also in case of other clinical conditions, like it is very, very important to understand because you need to keep all the set of drugs in your clinical practice unless and until you keep all these drugs because we are always cared about using the Rasaushadis and limit ourselves from arranging these drugs in our racks in our clinic by which when the patient approaches us, we become handicapped. We become something like where a step back by which we are unable to administer these set of medicines to the patients, then the clinical response in the patient turns out to be questionable. Admana is another condition which is seen in the patients suffering from Annavashoto Vyadis. And among that, you need to prescribe them with that of the Anjana, Kankushta, Kampilaka, Navasadara, Manga, Dukta Pashana, Tankana, Ballataka, Vishatinduka, and Snuhikshira. Malignancy conditions, gastrointestinal cancers refer to the malignant conditions of the gastrointestinal tract and the accessory organs of the digestion, including the esophagus, stomach, biliary system, pancreas, small intestines, large intestines, rectum, and anus. The symptoms relate to the organ effects affected and can include obstruction, abnormal bleeding, and also other associated problems. The diagnosis often requires endoscope, followed by the biopsy of the suspicious tissues. So this is very well known to every one of us. These are the various organs which has been covered in GAT malignancies. The treatment depends on the localization of the tumor as well as the type of cancer and invades the other tissue or spread, what we call it as metastasis. Overall, the GI tracts and the accessory organs of digestion are responsible for more cancers and more deaths from the cancer than any other systems in the body. There is a significant geographical variation in the rate of different gastrointestinal cancers. As you can see here, all these organs can land up into cancer. But anyway, we have tried to understand the whole of the GAT cancers under three main headings. One thing is upper digestive tract, lower digestive tract, cancer other than the GAT affected, G affecting the GAT. So you have the esophageal, stomach, pancreas, liver, gallbladder and others in the upper GAT. You have the colorectal, anal and gastrointestinal conditions in case of lower digestive tracts. Cancers with other GAT malignancies or lymph node swellings surrounding to the tissues, which gives a sort of pressure effect and the patient turns more and more deteriorated. Or the accessory organs as that of the thyroid, omentum, etc., which can arrest it from excess growth. This is a case of adenocarcinoma of the tongue. So here what we have done right from, because GAT starts with oral cavity. We have started with the tamra garba portali and applied it to the affected area in the tongue of the patient by which the ulcers, which were huge enough, is being totally cleared off by the application of Tamragarpa Kuttal in the form of Kavala and Gandusha, by which you can see even the tongue has turned so clear. You can see here, it is so much of something like a candidiasis or something like growth. It's a sort of a lepa, which hampers 
agni and also it is suggesting of severe ama and here you can see there is no ama so the tongue is much clearer this is also another case wherein it's a bleeding tendency of the oral cavity which is significantly reduced by the ayurvedic treatments this is a similar case where you can see the burrows like formation in the oral cavity here for this female wherein she got healed up by the administration of the hemagarbha lohagarbha and vishagarbha portalis so see her lips is been totally back normal frankly to speak with she is laughing here giving a smile that she is been safeguarded from the dreaded disease but we cannot give the identity of the patient so we have uh, edited it adenocarcinoma of the tongue again the same way you can see here the huge growth like something like amalaki where it needs tamra ca of the piriform fossa or the esophageal junction so here what we have done is one thing is through the cavala or to the laryngoscope where is having a spray where we take tamra garba portali and spray tamra garba in that particular area where you have the malignant tumors by which you have a local action by which the tumor sloughs off so here is an example for you from the piriform fossa malignancy wherein the whole of the malignancy was been sloughed off by taking our medicines like the malla garba hema garba rajata garba ca thyroid and the lymph nodes of the various parts of the body including the neck region and the esophageal area normally this doesn't cover under the purview of the gat malignancies but the lymph node swellings are very important and it might cause malignancies of the gat eventually because of the constant contact so this is a case report of the patient wherein she was suffering from the malignancies of the thyroid she has come to us with a complaint of dysphagia wherein she was being given with hemagarbha vishagarbha and lohagarbha portali by which eventually you can see like all the malignancies of the uh, thyroid have been totally disappeared and uh, she is totally fine and she is not having any complications of the disease these are the eventual reports of the patient because she had a huge metastasis as well but she is fine but later on you can see wherein they have informed like no evidence of any malignancy is seen in the smear evaluated this is very important the negative biopsy report because this is an ultimate thing where the biopsy says there is no malignant cells in the thyroid which is a very positive vibe for us to understand the concept of ayurveda similarly people are worried about the creatinine values you give us aushadi the whole world turns topsy turvy including the practitioners as of that of uh, ayurveda i wonder why do they worry about it because we are being fed and read only by the modern papers never we have read our textbooks in a proper way see the creatinine value of this patient who has taken the ayurvedic rasaushadis almost from past 6 to 8 years and uh, the creatinine is only 0.5 this is another malignancy case esophageal cancers cancer of the esophagus is often detected late as it is much there is there are typically no early symptoms if the cancer is caught soon patient can survive up to 5 years to 90% and above by the time esophageal cancer is usually detected though it might have spread beyond the esophagus well and the survival rate drops significantly these are the symptoms risk factors types diagnostic methods treatment and prognosis i would not like to go with all these things please refer they are directly from the textbook so these are the cancers outside from the gat where they are giving the pressure effect on the gat by which the patient is having some discomfort or problems this is one such case wherein the patient had such a huge sized malignancy see here 11.5 10.4 10.9 huge cancer growths in the chest in the thoracic cage wherein he the patient was totally relieved from all these complaints by the administration of mallagarbha hemagarbha and mrugankarasa these are the reports of the patient after 6 months wherein you can see all the malignant cells have disappeared this is a ct report and the impression of the ct report after 6 months of medication ca of the esophagus you can see here the malignant cells have to, so much occupied here 
into the esophagus and these are the reports of the patient these two are the reports of the patient by which you can see something like is literally into the stage of dysphagia and by which uh, the patient was been given with uh, malla garbha tamra garbha and hema garbha and here what we have done is it's not like he gulps the tablet he is taking very small quantities pinch by pinch and chewing it just like lozenges then you have a local action here in the gut or the another technique is we mix it with water and we uh, pass it through the endoscope and try to sprinkle the medicine on the affected area by which the tumor cells starts to shrink so these are the advantages and the innovative techniques which we can do and uh, this particular malignancy where he had a severe dysphagia was been responded by taking such type of medication and in a very short period you can see here the first report where you have with this endoscopy is only 26 6 2019 and this the same patient after treatment is 17 8 2019 so within a matter of one or two months all these lesions have disappeared and see it's a healthy use of this <coughs> excuse me <coughs> the next one is about the cancer of the stomach this is a very very important phenomenon because amasha is considered as a mula sthana mula sthana of the gat and in case if it is been affected with malignancy it will affect the whole system of gat and the whole uh, gat turns deteriorated <clears throat> so here what happens uh, the patient will have a sort of a gastric disturbances initially for few years if it is not been identified then he is detected by going with endoscopic method or through any of the techniques like a ct scan mri pet scan anything and uh, he has uh, by the time he spreads the disease to other areas these are the symptoms like the early late <coughs> types risk factors diagnostic methods prevention treatment and prognosis <clears throat> the medicines as per the ayurvedic textbook speaks about the amashaya balaprada is bhang amashaya mamsar budahara is ahifena grantigna is abraka <clears throat> gulmanashana you can give the drugs like that of the shilajatu kankushta kampilaka navasadara tamra kantaloha naga vaidurya shankha ballataka arka kshira snuhi kshira vatsanaba they can be given here for the patients suffering from gulma this is one such report of the patient on 5th april 2019 wherein you can see a thickened peri pancreatic region this is malignancy it was a diagnosed case of malignancy wherein we have given with hemagarbha mrugaanka rasa and also vishagarbha and lohagarbha with pancha valkala as an anupanam you can see the reports of the same patient here no evidences much of the things are been treated the same patient's reports this is the cancer of the stomach through the endoscope <clears throat> so in case if people can procure this it's a folklore practice especially in the zones of south kendra the red ants x are been used as anti cancerous so here what we have done we have taken uh, this is ca stomach we have taken uh, the panchavalkala along with the hemagarbha and uh, tamra garbha and we have sprinkled it in the stomach through the endoscope tube by which you find a local action this is not blood this is panchavalkala kwata this is a case of a person before treatment wherein she was having a multiple metastases all over the abdomen especially surrounding to the intestines but later on within 45 days she was been relieved by the administration of malla garbha hema garbha and mrugaanka rasa this is a report of the same patient after 45 days there is highly stagnation of the disease and much improvement in various aspects the pancreatic cancer is also a very very notorious level of cancer which troubles or which creates lots of problems especially with that of the pancreatic adenocarcinoma and also this particular thing is a very dangerous condition because controlling it is a quite a big challenge these are the symptoms usual onset risk factors diagnostic methods prevention treatment and prognosis please read by yourself this is this slide is directly from the textbook 
this is an example of a patient with uh, ca pancreas wherein you can see the size of the tumor here it is 7 into 7.5 into 6.6 quite a huge one and also ca 19.9 is one of the marker which is significantly increased so this is a report of the same patient after some time with administration of tapya diloha hemagarbha and ratnagarbha by which you can see the sizes of the tumors have been very significantly shrunken and also complete resolution of the previous visualized fda avid parenchyma and sub capsular hypodense lesion in both lobes of the liver even they have been disappeared eventually ca 19.9 when they have come was nearly 130 you are expected to be within less than 39 which has been significantly reduced in a short period of 10 to 15 days to 58.43 eventually 11.28 and also to 18.69 14.92 wherein we diagnose like the patient is out of the illness now and he has been discharged he is not given any of the medications after 3 months of time and this patient is still alive even today and he is not taking any medicines of either of the systems and he is leading a normal life as any of us creatinine because people are worried about creatinine it's 0.7 within limits hepatic cell carcinoma even this is a very very challenging condition because many times it doesn't listen to you that's a problem it's a most common type of a primary liver cancer i will say nowadays the gat cancers are very high because uh, like initially in today's presentation they have discussed or they mentioned something about um, the dinacharya rutucharya should be followed even like satvrutta palana is very important Uh, highly uh, susceptible to malignancies of the GAT for most of the people because they don't have homemade food. All are busy in their lifestyle. People are adapted to take all sorts of junk foods uh, prepared from yeast, multiple boiled oils, and also highly toxic way of cooking. But people are very happy and comfortable to consume it. so but anyway this is the reason why the number of cancer cases are increasing year after year because we are not ready to change our lifestyle we are not ready to sacrifice our lifestyles that's the reason why you have such complications so the, here are uh, a couple of examples of the patients uh, where we have given the drugs and try to arrest the cancers of the liver ekrut roga hara tamra kantaloha can be given kamala hara विमल कर्पूर शिलाज तो हिंगुला कांतलोह मंडूर कुंभकाम मंडूर क्लीहग्न से अब्रक शिलाज तो गंधक काशी संकुष नवसादर हिंगुलाम्र कांतलोह मंडूर क्लीहोदर विनाशन रजता वत्सनाब फ्यू ऑफ द फॉर्मुलेशन लाइक लिहारीह आरोग्यवर्धिनी ताम्र गर्भ अंड विषगर्भ कु दिस इज अस रिपोर्ट ऑफ ए पेशेंट सफरी फ्रम सी ए लिवर where he was been addressed by giving with the medication and these are the eventual reports liver parenchymal disease which is a cancerous condition or a precancerous condition uh, you can see here it's a liver parenchymal disease cirrhosis the patient was in icu by administering of these set of medicines you can see the changes here in the patient with absolutely no changes uh, total normalcy is been maintained gallbladder cancers similar to that of liver carcinomas little bit of uh, pitta kara substances to be given here these are the signs and symptoms as are the presentations of gallbladder colorectal cancers they are also called as a bowel cancers colon cancer rectal cancer many times it is clinically presented with a blood in the stool a change in the bowel movements weight loss and feeling tired all the time this is considered as a colorectal cancer so you should be very cautious enough and you need to treat you need to treat them with that of sarveshwara parpati hemagarbha and ratnagarbha if needed these are the signs and symptoms and other diagnostic tools bleeding from the anus is a very common phenomenon in case of malignancies of the lower gat you should be precautious enough to handle the condition and then go with it 
రక్త పిత్తను ఇట్ ఇస్ బీన్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఐరీకా సౌవినాంజన పిత్తల వైడూర్య చంద్రకాంత స్ఫటికమణి ఘటిక రక్త ప్రదర నాగాన్ భాంగ్ రక్త సంయుక్త మూత్రస్రావ భాంగ్ రక్త సంజనన కాశీస రక్త సంజనన కరం సువర్ణ స్వర్ణ రక్త హర స్రావహర రక్త స్రావహర భాంగ్ విషతిందుక దుగ్ధ పాషాణ రక్త వృద్ధికర మండూర టు బి గివన్ టు ద పేషెంట్స్ రక్తగ్న సెట్ ఆఫ్ డ్రగ్స్ వేర్ యూ హ్యావ్ ద పెథాలజీ ఇన్ ద రక్త హౌ టు అరెస్ట్ ఇట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ ఎస్ రక్తగ్న సెట్ ఆఫ్ డ్రగ్స్ లైక్ యూ హ్యావ్ ద గైరిక హరతాళ మనశ్శీల శ్రోతాంజన రసాంజన పుష్పాంజన ఖటిక ఆల్ దీస్ కండిషన్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ అన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఆఫ్ ఎ కేస్ రిపోర్ట్ మెటాస్టాటిక్ కార్సినోమ్ ఆఫ్ ద రెక్టమ్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ద పేషెంట్ హ్యాడ్ హ్యూజ్ మెటాస్టాసిస్ ఇన్ మోస్ట్ పార్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద బాడీ but still we could give him some medication and try to arrest it atisara hara because uh, anava shrotas where you need to consider the atisara chikitsa you need to give them with that of the swarna kantaloha naga dugdha pashana tankana ahifena bhang and vishatinduka mala bhedana vaidurya to be given mala mochana vaidurya mala vishodhana vartaloha is indicated as per the textbook so few of the prescriptions could be something like trifala గంధకరసాయన చంద్రకళారస ప్రవాళ గర్భ పొట్టలి విషగర్భ పొట్టలి మల్ల గర్భ ఎక్సెట్రా సో దిస్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో కేస్ ఆఫ్ ద పేషెంట్ ఇన్ ఎ ప్రీ క్యాన్సర్ స్టేట్ అల్సరేటికోలైటిస్ త్రూ ద కొలోనోస్కోప్ సో వీ హ్యావ్ గివన్ ద ప్రవాళ గర్భ పొట్టలి ఇన్ ద ఫామ్ ఆఫ్ పిచ్చా బస్తీ అండ్ వీ హ్యావ్ నేమ్ ఇట్ ఎస్ ద భస్మ బస్తీ బై విచ్ యూ కెన్ అప్రిషియేట్ ద రెస్పాన్స్ ఇన్ ద పేషెంట్స్ క్లినికల్ కండిషన్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ద అనాటమీ ఆఫ్ ద గట్ she is responded very beautifully by the administration of these drugs for all these patients you need to increase the ayush because they are almost in the tag end of the life increase the ayush of the patient by administration of the abraka vaikranta swarna rajata tamra kantaloha naga manikya mukta shukti pushyaraga vajra vaidurya asadhya roga nashtakara abrakan makshika to be given to the patient ధాతు వివర్ధన స్వర్ణ ఇస్ గివన్ ఓజో వర్ధక హరతాళ స్వర్ణ పన్నా టు బి గివన్ టు ద పేషెంట్ మృత్యుగ్న ఆల్ దిస్ పేషెంట్ దెర్ ఆర్ పాసిబిలిటీస్ లైక్ ది మైట్ డై యూ డోంట్ వాంట్ యువర్ పేషెంట్ టు డై యూ నీట్ వార్డ్ ఇమ్ ఆఫ్ బై బి గివింగ్ దిస్ సెట్ ఆఫ్ డ్రగ్స్ కాల్ ఎస్ మృత్యుగ్న లైక్ యూ హ్యావ్ ద అబ్రక మాక్షిక శిలాజతు గంధక హరతాళ కాంతలోహ నాగా అండ్ వజ్ర విచ్ కెన్ యాక్ట్ యాస్ యాంటీ డెత్ డ్రగ్స్ పుష్టివర్ధన ముక్తాశుక్తి అండ్ పన్న పుష్టికర కాంతలోహ అండ్ శంక సర్వ వ్యాధిహర బికాస్ దీస్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ టెన్ టు ల్యాండ్ అప్ ఇన్ టు మల్టిపుల్ ఇల్నెసెస్ దే హ్యావ్ జ్వర దే హ్యావ్ అతిసారా దే హర్ హ్యావింగ్ ఆర్థరైటిస్ దే ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ సమ్ స్కిన్ కంప్లైంట్ ఎక్సెట్రా ఎక్సెట్రా సో టు రూల్ అవుట్ ఆల్ దీస్ కండిషన్స్ వీ ట్రై టు గివ్ దమ్ విత్ అబ్రక వైక్రాంత మాక్షిక గంధక హింగుల స్వర్ణ రజత కాంతలోహ నాగ వజ్ర ayurveda believes in the papa karma so manikya to be given as papa kshaya kara or to reduce the papa sat guna vardhana vajra to be given to the patients these are set of drugs which can be given to the patients at various clinical levels and ultimately the counseling and the confidence of the patient is very important or else you will never win the case because psychology it can break you or it can make you you can become strongly mental or you can become mentally strong you can have a hopeless end or you can have a endless hope this is psychology so try to see that you win the psychology of the patient so that he believes in you and treat him in a positive way and after all i wish cancer would only be a zodiac sign one day let us ward off this disease from this earth by uniting ourselves and treating them through the means of ayurveda after all we need the smile of the patient which says thanks doctor for giving me rebirth so this is ultimate goal of practicing ayurveda to such patients suffering from this dreaded diseases thank you thank you very much for giving me this opportunity and sharing few of my thought processes on the guidelines where i have learnt it from the knowledge of the textbook and my experts and try to go with it thank you very much thank you sir thank you so much it was wonderful presentation sir with reports and all we are seeing such a good results through your medication and all now i request delegates to raise their uh, queries in the chat box
ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಗೀತಾ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರೈಸ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದು ತಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ದಟ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಗಿವ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಅಲೋ देम ಟು ಹೇಳ್ತೀರಾ ಹ್ಮ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಕಾಣಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆಯಾ ಯೆಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಆ ಸೋ ನಿಮಗೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮಟ್ಪತಿ ಸರ್ ಇದನ್ನ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರೈಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ತಗೊಳ್ತೀರಾ ಚಾಟ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಓದ್ತೀರಾ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶುಭಮಂಗಲ ಮೇಡಂ ಮತ್ತೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮಟ್ಪತಿ ಸರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅಲೋ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ಅಡ್ಮಿನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಲ್ಲ ನೀವು ನಿಮಗೆ ಕಾಣಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆಯಾ ಅಂತ ಹೌದು ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರೈಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ಎಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಸೋ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದೇರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ I mean, simple procedure, how, how do they do it? Uh, madam, normally what we do is we go for the classical dosage form. We give usually with 8 grams per month, 2 grams per week. The patient comes to you where he wants a medicine for 2 weeks, we give him 2 grams. And I'll say Hemagarpa Potali or any of the Potalis for instance, they are very hard, just like rock. You'll take 1 hour to rub with, to extract 1 gram of it. It is so hard enough. In case if it's not that hard enough, then the way how they are prepared is wrong. The very nature of potally kalpana is the end product turns to be very hard. And you need to rub them and uh, try to give it. One thing you can ask a patient to empty 2 grams in one week. Or the other alternative what you can do is, <clears throat> here what we do many times, in case if you are unable to educate your patient how he has to take it, is we rub it with a distilled water at room temperature and allow it to evaporate. the water content gets evaporated the end product we get it in the form of a powder that powder is given in uh, sachets or capsule fill it in capsule and give it to the patient with any of the anupanam which could be something like very convenient for the patient to consume thank you sir dr matpati sir you can unmute and ask your question sir namaste sir yeah namaste sir sir uh, this uh, cure rate of uh, ca ma- or malignancy is in your clinical experience sir uh, till now to frankly to speak about i have a very good success rate in treating many of the cancers we we have people from all stages of malignancies and all but every case we will start with a 0% assurance we don't want to promise any patient if they have a total belief yes definitely most welcome even we explain the patient stating like it's a trial because every patient is different and uh, it depends on their immunity and other factors in case if the patient responds they respond tremendously usually we take around 3 to 6 months i do have one of my senior most malignancy patient who has been survived till date is 18 years old since 18 years he has been taking the medicine and he is alive i asked him to stop it after one or two years where the things turn negative but the patient is absolutely not happy to stop it he asked me sir is there any problem if i consume this medicine i said no it acts as rasayana but there is no use that you take so much of medicines he says like i don't want to see this day again so i would like to take it in case if there is no problem because he he had lots of family responsibilities he's too young by the time he's come to me he was only 28 and today of course he is 40 plus and he is totally fine he investigates every year he, he goes for a pet scan at two different hospitals at mumbai every year and try to document it just to ascertain like things are fine that's all okay. thank you sir Dr. Akshata, you can ask your question. Sir, Namaste, sir. It was a wonderful session. Thank you so much. Sir, uh, my question to, is, uh, to you is, uh, uh, you mentioned about Bhasma Basti uh, in the form of Pichabasti. Like, what is the dose uh, 
for which conditions can we administer and what are what are the drugs that can be uh, can be used sir uh no basma basti is what uh, i give the oral dosage only say for example you have the oral dosage of a particular drug is 125 mg i mix up the same dosage into the basti dravya and give it in the form of enema i have a patient of jwara i give mrutyunjara in the form of basti i have a patient with uh, ulcerative colitis i give pravala garbha puttali in the form of basti which is 125 mg okay. for how long should it be given sir usually we give it for 3 days and uh, uh, in case of chronic diseases like ulcerative colitis and all which is not manageable within a days time or two days there we have to give it for a longer duration like we go for 7 uh, days of basti we draw it again the patient is fine then discontinue the bastis including the basmas uh, given per rectal after one or two months as a patient to again take another course of basti and again we add basmas in that just like you do the panchakarma practice that's all uh, sir dr rashma asking how long should we administer the medicine sir and after how many days should we go for the next investigation usually we continue the medication till we have at least one or two uh, reports of stating like it is negative for cancer and once it is negative for the histopathological study or the pet scan or any you know, of the investi- investigating tools then what we do is we reduce the dosage first say for example hemagarbha we are giving 8 grams then we switch to 6 grams per month we try to see it for another 3 months again we try to cross investigate things are well managed then again reduce it to 4 grams so we go in a tapering dose and try to see that we disconnect the patient from the medicines next question dr viba is asking can kahavara pisti be given in case of pradara or fibroids as a substitute of potali kalpas uh, it is very difficult to substitute potali kalpana because it is having lots of gandaka jarana which has been highly praised in the textbook gandaka jarana where you give excess of treatment with sulfur then it increases the potency of the drug so pishti is different basma is different potali is different kopi pakwa is different all are different different modes of treatments sir what is the drug panna panna is a neelam uh, blue sapphire among the navaratnas okay sorry 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 it's a green sapphire it's a green emeralds emeralds are called as panna any other questions ah uh, hello madam yes sir you can ask uh sir one uh, new thing uh, we learned today is that we can use the endoscopic administration of ayurvedic drugs how we can administer the with endoscopic sir can you explain sir please uh no see there is a uh, small saline injection tube which is fixed inside the endoscope instrument while the tube is going inside we fill this medicine we mix it with water or any of the anupanam like might be it is varunadik vata panchaval kalak vata whatever it is keep it ready by the time the endoscope uh, will go near to the lesion sprinkle it on that particular area the same oral dosage which you give is being given through the endoscope that's all and uh, here what happens when we give it uh, orally the medicine has been absorbed all over the body including the area which has been affected but by giving in this particular technique what happens the basma or the medicine reaches to the target very quickly with a local absorption and uh, the action is high because we need we need the more of action in that area and we have reaching it through the endoscope thank you sir it is a tremendous uh, grateful to hear you sir thank you thank you uh, sir medication to treat proliferative ve- uh, varicoses Ah, varicose leukoplakia in oral cavity. Ah, uh, you need to go for the biopsy to just to rule out if it is not malignant. In case if it is not, you can definitely go with the tamra garba or the tamra preparations. You can go for hartala preparations or tamra preparations. Kavalam gandusha is also been suggested in these patients to have a good response. 
if uh, it uh, you need in case if it is malignant then you should be more precautious and try to go with the oral medication as well to arrest it thank you sir excuse me sir sir reference for bas basma basti no reference it's our own uh, yukti that's all which we have given okay, okay thank you sir uh, namaste apna here Thank you, Dr. Sudhakar. Uh, uh, Dr. Okay, I am also interested in doing CT. Uh, so, just that we also got. Ma'am, your voice is not clear, ma'am. Ma'am, you are off. Sapna, ma'am, your voice is not clear. Hello. Book. Hello. Can you hear me? Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Please. Yeah, yeah, I am quite. We can't hear you, ma'am. Yeah, yeah ma'am. Hello. Yeah, but a uh, lot of disturbances are there. Hello, madam. Can you put your uh, this uh, question in the chat box? Hello. Okay, next, uh, Doctor Dilip Kumar, sir. You can ask a question. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, Doctor. Okay. Uh, okay. Dilip Kumar sir, sir, I am having a question. Sir, actually, uh, how many times uh, should uh, that you have discussed about oral uh, cavity uh, cancer? So, Tamra Gupta, uh, Arbi, you told to apply on that uh, specific space. So, how many times we should we have to be applied, and what should be the anupa uh, like uh, uh, mixing of like uh, anupana you can see? Uh, madam, normally it happens like uh, if it's leukoplakia, we need lekhana rabies, where we go with uh, applying. Uh, usually, we do it either with the gomutra or with varuna dikwata. Uh, sometimes it happens like a uh, patient is having adenocarcinoma. Primarily, of adenocarcinoma is something like a cauliflower-like growth, which is seen in that area. Again, we go with the thiever aushadi. We let uh, there we go with tamra, with gori pashana, along with varuna dikwata and all. But in case if it is squamous cell carcinoma, which is also very common in the oral cavity, in those conditions we don't go for excess of ushna dravya. We try to go with a softening anupana. Instead of varuna dikwata, we go with the panchavalkala kwata, tamra garba potali along with panchavalkala as anupana is being given for the application in case if it is squamous cell carcinoma. So this part we try to go with uh, uh, most of the clinical conditions depending on. What is their clinical presentation? Either it is adenocarcinoma, or squamous cell carcinoma, or leukoplakia-like clinical presentations. Based on that, we go for it. And usually, it is once a daily, unless and until it is too huge. In case if it's too huge, we try to go for a repeated application. Might be it is around six to eight times per day. Also, sometimes. Sir, what is what is your experience? How long you have continued for the? application and other things local applications and all usually for one month two months and all we have done where till the patient gets re some reduction in it thank you so much sir. next any more questions sir uh, according to your clinical experience cancer preventing ayurvedic medicines which can be uh, taken or prescribed to the patients or anybody can you please explain preventive ayurvedic medicines sir uh, sir it depends again from person to person and from their genes how yes. they have responded say for example a patient is having uh, chewing of lots of arachnids and all then for him it is something different a person yes. who is exposed to excess of smoke and all then his 
treatment protocol or the security measures is different. A person with a recurrent uh, urinary tract infection or vaginal infections, then treating them as a precautionary measure is something different. So it is highly selective from person to person. We cannot really make it a universal domain to say like only this can protect us from cancer. It's different from person to person. Depending on their genes, their lifestyle, their attitudes, the way how they grow, the immune system, so many factors. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Dr. Deepa, you can raise your question. Dr. Deepa? Yes, Namaste, sir. Uh, I just wanted to ask if the case is benign, can we start with this Rasa Ushidi, Hema Garba, Visha Garba, Loha Garba? Definitely and initially not. only detected with the CA or oral cancer or something of that sort. So we can ask them to <laughs> apply and uh, do Gandusha yes. Kavala with this. Yes, yes, definitely. Because Ayurveda doesn't mean any difference with that of a benign or malignant. A growth is a growth. Yeah. It's an involvement of either Vata and Kapha or Vata or Kapha, usually. Yes. Yeah. So we go for that uh, a routine protocol of applications and oral administrations. Yes. So one more question. Uh, it is also told it is because of the uh, Agni metabolism, disturbance of the Agni metabolism. So how do you put a light on this? Because no, when I, I was going through uh, the article, I came across that it is all in Ayurveda, it is said it is all because of the disturbance of the Agni. Yeah. Mitochondrial uh, dysfunction. Yes. Always uh, this is a background because Sarvan Rogo Mandagno. Or yes. once you have the disease manifested, it is always because of some or the other uh, Agni being derailed. But yes. absolutely need not worry in case if you are practicing with Rasoshadis. Uh, in case if you are giving with any of the Basmas. Because Samskaram Gunantaradhanam. You have prepared the basma by giving some 10, 50, 30, 100 putas. Agni Sani Karsha is an essential component for all the basma nirmanas. So Agni Tattva is a part in every basma. You need not consider the Deepana Pachana or Agni Tattva of either of the basmas. All basmas are invariably having the Deepana Pachana quality because of the Agni Sani Karsha. So for us, Agni is not very important because every basma takes care of Agni. Yes. Yes, thank you, sir. So, one more last question. How about the potential carriers, those who have in the family? Uh, how do you yes. project on this? See, one thing is where we come to know prior to the, uh, in the preconception period, we try to go with the Garva Samskaras and yes. try to give Shodhana okay. therapies and all prior to the conception. And even immediately after delivery, we go for the immunomodulatory therapies by giving yes. the Swarana Basma for a very long period and all. And even for the people who have already grown up and they come to know like parent, the grandparent, everyone are having this particular genes yes, yes. in the family with landing up into malignancies. We try to see that we give a sort of a uh, immune therapy, Rasayana therapy. Yeah. Lots of Rasayana therapies to see that the, he, he, his immune system has been well addressed. Because how would nowadays, you so once a month or how like Abraka Basma, no, Swarna Basma? We give it for lifetime. Lifetime. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't uh, ask them to stop it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, how to get the quarterly preparation? Oh. <laughs> no, here what I do is I prepare by myself. I have around 250 products related to Rasa Shastra, which I prepare in my clinic and I use it in my patient. Uh, so, for me, getting them is quite easy because it's my daily job. Okay. Any more questions? Sir, in uh, oropharyngeal cancers, in cancers of the o oral cavity, if any ulcer or precancerous stage ulcer is there, conventional method of uh, excision and anti anti uh, cancerous medicines administration is good or uh, only ayurvedic anti anti cancerous medicines according to your uh, uh, prescriptions it is best sir, according to uh, conventional method is best or your uh, mm -hmm. protocol is best sir uh, 
in case if the patient is not having any of the habits which are precipitating the oral cancers like he is having a habit of taking always taking an arecanet always having lots of smoking where it can injure him again and again we ask him like you go for an excision and come to ayurvedic treatment and try to give ayurveda for a pretty long time and in case if the patient is says like no i don't have any habits i am totally uh, not encouraging any of the habits or he has left the habits some 10 years ago uh, but now he is still being suffering with there uh, we can start only with ayurvedic medicines and try to go with ayurvedic medicines and with repeated biopsy it might be for every 3 months or 5 months try to see whether the ulcer grows or whether it turns negative or try to see if at all it comes to a atypical cell presentation or not in case if it comes you should be in a situation like you need to go for an emergency excision yes sir yes sir. okay sir thank you sir thank you very much one more ranjani desh pande doctor mm-hmm. Namaste, sir. Uh, sir, how do you use Anu Shastra uh, practice in your anti-cancer treatment, sir? How useful have you seen it? Uh, you know, uh, I don't, I don't use many of them, like very few. Most of the times, uh, I go with basmas and potali preparations. That's all. I'm, I'm not. Once I'm using potalis, I find the utility of other substances is secondary to me. because these things are adaptable to me and i am accustomed to use them okay sir sir in that case do you even dispense or supply rasa aushadi that you make to others doctors and de- on demand <laughs> no i don't have any pharmacy of my own it's only for my clinic i prepare them and i use it in my patients um, I, i don't run up a pharmacy so i cannot i don't even have a gst number to <laughs> sell the medicines <laughs> okay yeah some people where we know might be on a friendly ground we give sometimes that's all but it's not like we have a routine selling business we don't do it for business thank you sir one more question sir yeah okay dr geeta bina no. my yeah yeah uh, i want to ask sir one thing like uh, any changes in the protocol or case paper apart from normal case paper to this thing do you add like uh absolutely not very specific like we need a separate case sheet for uh, such set of patients one thing which i find very high is one thing is immune response is really poor in all the cancer patients i find is the immune system is very poor the second thing is uh, the lifestyle highly i, I should not use the term but is many times i find people are irresponsible for their health conscious so it is making them to land up into such diseases i find it's a age of responsibilities and they are landing up into such diseases but even even after this harassing conditions people are not ready to alter the lifestyle still they are happy to have lots of fast foods every day because the life is so fast and they want to end up the life that fast it's okay dr ani you can ask the question i just heard you answering another question that uh, you make your own medicines so uh, do you even dispense them to uh, anyone like us would like to uh, take up a cancer treatment case uh, yeah that's what i said yeah place? yeah i don't have any pharmacy like and all it's just a clinic and i just give it to my patients uh, what if there is a demand and will you uh, make it for other doctors if they have patients uh, yeah if they are known and all something like because i cannot produce your bills and all i don't have any official things of those kinds we just give it on a friendly ground no at least That's for the uh, the the present team that you are uh, <laughs> the whole yeah. team is working for uh, this cause so uh, can you in the team uh, no, get your I, medicine, get your, uh, your the medicine no, that I, you get <laughs> out of so much of love to your patients yeah i, I give at least of 300 presentations in one year 
<laughs> That's fine. Anyway, uh, see, after all, life is precious to everyone. Ultimate thing, it's not like a matter of a business or anything. Life is precious for everyone. And uh, we are always there to uh, definitely support uh, in case if it's a matter of life and death or matter of health consciousness as such. And uh, yeah, so said, uh, yeah, all these doctors in the team, uh, sorry to inter interrupt you, all the, uh, they are like, they form this team just to uh, yeah, keep ourselves updated about this yes. field. So yes. if they get, get a first hand patient and yeah. we know we know you, you're good at it and uh, we can uh, get the, when patients come to us, they don't ask us for bills or for the yeah, doctor yeah. as a pharmacy, they want results. So if, if we yeah. can get uh, that high quality medicine from your end, so can we uh, bank on you for that as well? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. I'll be happy to support you. That's not at all an issue. Uh, only thing is sometimes in case if the medicines are running out of stock, why might we will take some time or else usually I maintain a stock of one to two kgs of each portali because uh, there are around 67 portalis which is very commonly uh, into the practice. Out of that 15 are very very commonly used in daily practice. Uh, but definitely yes, we can, we can definitely support you. And uh, we can try to uh, frame such things and uh, you can use it from your end itself to your patients. No problem. This question was just because getting a quality of the is a question mark. Yes, yes, so, yes. Yes, yes, Dr. Rani. Thank you so Definitely much. Definitely will. Uh... Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Sir, sir, is it possible to share the link of your research papers? Please. Uh, there are lots of things which is online, madam. I think you can just type my name in YouTube or there is my website called as uh, Indian Institute of Ayurveda and Rasa Shastra. So it is www.iiar.co.in. Everything I know I am trying to incorporate into that website. Uh, so you have lots of courses even there. Uh, we have, uh, we are hosting Rasa Ushadis in each disease and why it should be given, not it is to be given. I'm saying why it should be given. If I have a stage clinically like this, then what is the Rasaushadi I need to select? If at all I need a herbo mineral composition, how is that I need to choose it? It's not like how I need to choose it. I even explain that why I need to choose it. Because I give Mrityunja Rasa to my patient, it doesn't mean like my student also should give Mrityunja Rasa. There are wide choices. You can give Mrutyunjaya Rasa, you can give Tribhuna Kirti, you can give Sudarshan, you can give Amruta Rishta. But why did I give Tribhuna Kirti? You should know. The concept behind why the medicine is given. Then you will be able to have a very good success rate in your clinical practice. You need not ask questions for every disease later on. So we want people to understand the background of it. Why it should be given. So most of the courses which we are hosting here in Indian Institute of Ayurveda and Rasa Shastra is chiefly on these grounds. Even yesterday we have completed the course on Parpati Kalpana in clinical practice. Why we have to give Parpati Kalpanas in clinical practice? From 15th we are starting with Vata Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Dr. Anil Kumar is asking, uh, Sir, in esophageal cancer with early stage, no metastasis, we have to go for the total esophagectomy no, in case if it's a localized lesion which is not having any spread, most of the times Ayurvedic management is sufficient. And in case the age of the patient is not supporting or is having any of the other comorbidities or anything like that, yes, definitely it's not like you go for a bypass, you need to go for an excision. Excision is better than bypass. Bypass can definitely have the metastasis still present. So if it is an excision, we are uh, safe because it cannot metastasis. And we can maintain with Ayurvedic medicines, sufficient. Okay. Dr. Rupa Kulkarni want to convey message to you, sir. Tremendous good results could see through your medicine protocol. Hope a new awakening is spread all over as a new light in life of cancer patients. Thank you, sir. Hope, try to refer, they get ultimate benefits. Thank you. Thank sir. you, thank you. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I think, uh, ma'am, we'll go for the vote of thanks. 
Please now, do. now Dr. Ranjit will give a word of thanks. Over to you, Dr. Ranjit. Yeah, thank you, madam. Namaste, sir. Namaste. On behalf of all, I extend a really heartly word of thanks to our beloved Dr. Gopikrishna, sir, who spared his time and his busy schedule. Today, we had an opportunity to hear your practical experience in treating cancer with Potali, Parpatis, Basma, etc., sir. I promise that this webinar will surely be going to encourage us in our future events. And next, I thank Team Ravos for this wonderful effort in making this webinar successful. At last, I'd like to thank the audience for the constant support which they are providing in making this webinar successful. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, you, Dr. Ranjit. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. It was a wonderful presentation, sir. Thank, thank you so much. Again. Thank no, you so much. Thank you. Now, once again, I'm reminding all the delegates to give contacts of CA treating doctors all over India.